in the Lancashire town of Blackpool. She first met the 11th doctor as a young child when she accidentally kicked a football at his head at a park. She loved to attend Sunday school, taught by a nice lady teacher, in a small church room that smelt of oak polish and had felt tip coloring on the walls. As a child, she liked travel books and science kits but did not like hair products. She was taught about Amy Johnson in school, who became her role model throughout her childhood. Clara visited many national trust houses in her childhood. When she was young, she was once stung by a wasp. As a child, her nan took her to the Blackpool Tower Circus. When Clara was nine years old, her father, Dave, took her on a trip to a tower block near Southport with a restaurant at the top. The restaurant had a solid clear glass floor, but Dave assured her it was safe as houses. Two lads inside the restaurant started jumping up and down on the glass, shouting they were going to break it in, language dad later said did not suit young ladies. Since then, Clara was not very keen on heights, or indeed glass floors. At this age, she also stopped believing in Santa Claus, later explaining this was her growing out of fairy tales. Some time afterwards, Clara met the 11th doctor again, when an earlier version of him was sad about not being able to locate Clara. He did not realize her identity, nor did she know that she herself was the friend for whom he was looking. She thought the idea of him finding his friend by destiny was rubbish. As a child, she claimed she was always losing things, her best pencil, her school bag, her gran and her mojo, which she managed to get back. Whenever she would lose something, she'd go to a quiet place, close her eyes, then would find where she'd put it. The doctor considered that he might follow her advice on this to find his friend, an idea she thought made sense. Clara's mother, Ellie, told her that she shouldn't talk to strange men, but she spoke to the doctor regardless. Her worst fear as a child was getting lost. While on a bank holiday visit to Blackpool Beach, her nightmares came true, but her mother eventually found her. Ellie comforted her by saying that she would always find her, wherever she was. Clara attended St. Mary's School, where she played on the rugby team.